The Miami Marlins are terrible. Lose every game in your opening homestand. Terrible. Fire up trade talk in early April. Terrible. Here's the article from Ken Rosenthal and Dennis Lynn of The Athletic yesterday. Why the winless Marlins could be on the path to becoming sellers sooner than expected. It's April 4th, the day of recording. They don't have a win. They don't have a shot. They have been eliminated. Not even going to make it to the trade deadline, apparently, for the Miami Marlins. And there are three players, Tanner Scott, Luis Arise, and Jesus Lazardo, that we're going to focus on in this video that could help teams right now. These are teams and players. The deal makes sense to happen earlier rather than later because there's a need for these teams to get active early. We're going to dive into that but let's first talk about why Miami needs to make these moves. We're, again, identifying Scott, Arise, and Lazardo as the players. Look at the salary. Look at the years of control. Tanner Scott is in his final season. Luis Arise at $10.6 million this year. Next year, obviously, is going to cost too much. Jesus Lazardo, $5.5 million in year one of his arbitration, is going to cost too much for the Miami Marlins to hold on to moving forward. So you have to deal these players because they're not winning now, and they're not going to win and compete for anything of significance while they have them. I hate to tell you, Miami, but it is already, after one 84-win season and a wild card spot, time to rebuild. I'm just depressed even saying that for my Miami fans. But let's talk about where we are going to move these players. The first is Tanner Scott in the Dodgers make sense to me. The Dodgers are obviously in World Series mode. They have accumulated a ton of depth, and they have seen, since they made the bulk of their moves, the Giants get aggressive, the Padres get aggressive, the Diamondbacks have been aggressive. So this is a team that just needs to continue to put their foot on the gas, go out there, and add talent to the roster. And the bullpen is an area where they could do that. You see Tanner Scott added to this group of players would improve the club. So what's the trade got to be? We're going to use the baseball trade values to keep us honest. And I'm trying to find a trade that makes sense for both sides. So Dodger fans, you may think it's too much, but we're not trying to rob the Marlins blind. Tanner Scott to the Dodgers heading to Miami. I got Maddox Bruns, left-handed pitcher, number 10 in the organization, and Trey Sweeney, a shortstop, the number 16 player in the Dodgers organization. Now, when we run this through the baseball trade values machine, again, trying to keep ourselves honest, $8.2 million in value going to Miami, $8.9 million in value with Scott going to the Dodgers. A fair trade for both sides. The Dodgers get an improved bullpen. They get a lefty, a lights out lefty in Tanner Scott, and the Marlins get some prospects. Let's move on to Luis Arise and the Toronto Blue Jays. This Jays team with Bo and Vladdy and all of the money they have invested elsewhere on the roster is still going for it. But they've already been no hit. They've already been one hit. So this team obviously has some issues in that lineup that they need to fix. Luis Arise would do that. You take a look at this club right now. He would be the second baseman. Kevin Biggio, I'm sorry. I like Kevin Biggio. But Kevin Biggio, move him into a utility role. Obviously, Luis Arise is a major upgrade. I think it's where we need to go. But what's the trade going to be? A rise to the Blue Jays, to Miami. We're sending Aurelvis Martinez, I know, Blue Jay fans, and Kendry Rojas. Look, again, trying to be fair for both sides here. We're not trying to rob Miami blind. Aurelvis Martinez has some sky-high potential but is unproven at the major league level. And you do get two years of Luis Arise. This is not a rental player, so you're not going to get him for cheap. How does this look when we plug it into the baseball trade values machine? You can still see that the Blue Jays are winning this trade by value. $30 million coming from Arise and $25.5 and heading the other way to Miami. But I would argue that maybe Aurelvis Martinez is a little bit higher value than just $20 million. I like this for both sides. I think, again, the Blue Jays get that lefty bat. They get a good hitter and a good hitter, a great hitter in Luis Arise and Miami. 
gets two prospects, a pitcher and a position player, and Aravos Martinez is ready now. They may not want to promote him and start the clock now, but Aravos Martinez will help the team in the short term. Let's move to Jesus Lazardo and a Yankees trade. This Yankees team, there is question marks about Garrett Cole and how much he will pitch, if he will pitch, in 2024. They're off to a great start. This is a World Series or bust team. Juan Soto's crushing the ball. Judge finally hit his first home run. There's a lot of good with this Yankees team, but there are still some worries about the rotation. Taking a look at this, Nestor Cortez hasn't been that great. Carlos Rodon hasn't been great. You've got to get an ace in this rotation, especially if Garrett Cole isn't going to be there. What's the trade look like? We have to include Avisel Garcia to get this deal done, Yankee fans. And the reason why is because we don't want to. You don't want to just completely overload with top prospects here. Adding Garcia takes one of the top prospects off the board because you're taking on Avisel Garcia's contracts. $12 million this year, $12 million next year. Then there's a club option. Likely, Garcia, if he were to be included, would probably get a shot to earn some ABs, earn some reps with the Yankees, but ultimately probably just gets released. You are including Garcia so that you don't have to include another prospect. Here's the prospect hall going to Miami. Everson Pereira, there's nowhere to play him anyway. Roderick Arias, this is the one that maybe Yankee fans, you that stings. But again, you're getting Jesus Lazardo And Ben Rice, a catcher, the number 12 prospect in the organization. This one looks great in baseball trade values. We have a $41 million value going to Miami with Arias, Pereira, and Rice. And because we are including Avisel Garcia's contract, we have a $41.4 million value coming back for the New York Yankees. $65 million in Jesus Lazardo. And you see Garcia is a negative 24, getting us to a very even, very fair trade. That's the point, the goal, the objective is to make these trades fair. Comment down below. What do you think? Miami fans, would you do any of these trades? Yankee fans, Blue Jay fans, Dodger fans, would you sign up for any of the trades proposed? Comment down below and let me know what you think as it looks like Miami. It is going to be blow up, rebuild, start over season very soon. These three teams need to jump on these players early before someone else grabs them. That's it for this one, everybody. I do appreciate you coming in. Ball Cap Nation, I salute you. Make sure to, again, leave your comments down below. Hit that like on the way out and stay close to the channel for more baseball content. As always, if it's low, let it go. And if it's high, let it fly.